Cheers everybody, welcome to a special video for a special beer. We are off to Durham Brewery and we have got a barrel aged version of one of their beers. Uh, the beer in particular I'm talking about is their Beads Chalice. Now Beads Chalice was the first ever beer reviewed on this channel all them years ago. Little did I know that I would still be here doing it. Anyway, um, it's come to light that they have done a brandy cask aged version of this beer. And it is a bottle of Beads Barrel. Brandy cask aged triple 10% ABV. There you go. Um, I shall read the blurb. Durham Brewery. Um, Anybody out there who really knows me knows that Durham Brewery is one of my favourite, favourite breweries. So it says, fewer than 800 bottles of this limited edition brandy barrel aged Belgian triple. Rich and luxurious boozy aroma of candied peel and brandy, dried fruit and oak notes are lifted by lighter fruit, orange, peach and apricot throughout. A dry finish with a subtle hint of spice. So there you go. It looks a hell of a beer. This ale is bottle conditioned. Store upright and pour gently to avoid disturbing the sediment. Natural, not filtered. Uh, store in a cool room at 10 degrees. And Durham Brewery are based at Bowburn. So there you go. So <clears throat> let's crack it open, shall we? See what we get. So there is the Durham Crown. Let's get a whiff. Oh, boozy. Orange peel. Dried fruit, spices. It smells like a Belgian triple for sure. Then you pick up the brandiness as well. It's really, you know, boozy brandiness. It's it's there, so let's pour it out like you do. Try and make a decent pour of it. And there she is. Amber in colour. Um, the glass was slightly wet uh, when I so the, the head might just disappear. Um, so there's a bit of cloud of leaves gone in. Stick it there. So yeah, there it is. It looks very much loads of carbonation, loads of odds and, bo odds and sods and bits and bobs. Let's get a whiff. Spices, orange peel. Not much different from the neck of the bowl, which well, should be, should it? God, have I reviewed beers before? <laughs> right, I'm gonna go in. Bish bash bosh, cheers. Well. Wow, it's strong, big, strong um, body to the beer, loads of carbonation, spice, dried fruit, orange peel, lemon, lots of spices, for sure, you get the, the brandy, um, barrel agedness, you know, that warmth, boozy barrel agedness of the brandy is coming through. Slightly dry on the back end, but the beer packs a punch. It certainly does. More go in, you get slight woodiness to it. Um, like a sweet sap of the, sweet wooden sap of the barrel, that type of thing. But it is a big, big beer. Definitely a big, big beer. Um, 
would I buy this one again? It was quite a hefty price. It was nine quid a bottle. Um, most probably. <laughs> most probably, yeah. <laughs> I would. <laughs> but it's just got a nice, big, bold feel about it. And yeah, um, it's lovely, lovely stuff again again. There's a hint of vanilla there as well for me. You don't really pick up the alcohol as such. Um, but yeah, slightly sticky around the mouth. But overall, I have to say, gets the thumbs up. One more for the road. Good for a nightcap. Mm. Durham Brewery. Beads Barrel. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big beer. Big tasty beer. And, um, yeah. Um, I wouldn't have too many of them. Is there any more left? No, not really. I wouldn't have too many of them. Um... I think it would give you a good night's sleep. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this one. Um, <laughs> um, this beer deserves a better review than this. <laughs> it really does. Thank you very much for, for watching this one. Uh, look after yourselves and see you on my next one. <laughs> beep, beep.